Illusion of Gaia is an RPG that shares many similarities with the likes of Zelda. Its battling system is deployed in real time, which can see a multitude of enemies descending upon you at once. Players take control of Will, who wields a flute as a weapon, and gains psychic abilities throughout the adventure to help aid in battle. Later on, two more characters become available to the player, which each have their own skills as well. There's a real incentive to use all of them, which manages to offer a great amount of diversity in gameplay. The general progression of the experience will see players visiting a huge variety of dungeons and towns in order to advance the plot and develop each character, but players will find themselves spending most of their time in dungeons, which are home to a range of enemies and various puzzles that require the use of Will's psychic abilities in which to overcome. If you missed this one back in the day, now is the perfect time to jump in and experience an unforgettable adventure. Secret of Evermore follows the adventure of a young boy and his dog as they are transported to another world. This environment is made up of several dimensions that all represent different eras of the real world. You'll find yourself traveling way into the past and the future as the adventure unfolds. Gameplay-wise, it shares much in common with the likes of Secret of Mana. You'll find yourself gaining experience points and leveling up, but one area where it differs is the huge emphasis upon alchemy. Throughout the adventure, the player collects several formulas that are required in order to use magic. Some of these formulas are well hidden throughout the experience and offer a nice incentive to explore each area thoroughly. Battles play out in real time and depending on the player's equipment, there are several ways in which to deal with enemies. May that be a few quick thrusts with a sword or a fully blown charged attack that deals heavier amounts of damage. Although not the best RPG on the system, Secret of Evermore well and truly deserves a playthrough. Lufia 2 is one of the most underrated RPGs on the system. It never truly got the recognition it deserved, and when put next to the likes of Chrono Trigger and the Final Fantasy series, it's quite easy to see why it was overlooked. But for what Lufia 2 lacks in originality, it more than makes up for in gameplay, and this is where the experience truly shines. Buried beneath the generic story and visuals is a fun and rewarding battling system, as well as several mind-boggling puzzles that all start out simply enough, but soon become one of the more intricate aspects of the adventure that will test even the most proficient of players. To top all of this off is the inclusion of monsters that can be captured, trained, and ultimately aid you in battle. By feeding them unwanted items and equipment, it is possible to make them evolve into more formidable allies, with each possessing their own special abilities and attributes, which manages to add a great deal of variety to each monster. Overall, Lufia 2 is a competent RPG that is bound to satisfy longtime fans of the genre as well as newcomers alike. Breath of Fire 2 picks up 500 years after the events of the first game and sees players taking up the role of Ryu on the hunt of a thief, traveling the kingdom and encountering a diverse set of locations as well as a huge cast of characters that help flesh out the believability of the world. Battles play a huge part in the experience. Each is presented in a turn-based fashion and grants the player a whole host of special skills and abilities that can be learned over the course of the adventure. A maximum of four characters make up your party at any one time with the ability to swap in different recruits if the situation calls for it. By defeating enemies, you'll gain experience points that all contribute to the overall effectiveness of each character in battle, as well as items and equipment also playing a significant role. There's a lot of options which allow the player to experiment with several different setups with each character. Although Breath of Fire 2 is not perfect, it is a huge improvement over the previous iteration and is bound to satisfy longtime fans as well as newcomers to the series. Terranigma sees the player assuming the role of a boy named Ark, who like many RPG heroes was living a normal life until a chain of events set him off on an adventure to save the world. Now the narrative has the potential to come across as cliché, but in all honesty it is one of the finest aspects of the experience and manages to convey a meaningful and thought-provoking journey. Gameplay-wise, it shares much in common with the various top-down adventure games of the same period. Battles play out in real time and require players to overcome a multitude of 
threats. With a range of abilities at your disposal, it never becomes overwhelming, but still manages to offer a respectable amount of challenge. As well as the main narrative, several side quests are also available, which have the potential to benefit your character in battle, whilst adding even more context to the world he inhabits. If you're a fan of the genre and are looking for something that will provide hours of entertainment, Terranigma will provide that and much more at the same time. Super Mario RPG was the first time Mario stepped into the big wide world of RPGs. The adventure sees Mario along with a cast of several characters on a quest to locate and bring together several pieces of a star. By doing so, they hope to repair Star Road, which is responsible for granting people's wishes within the kingdom. Now it's a nice break from the usual save the princess formula and manages to weave a tale that is bound to bring a smile to many faces. Gameplay wise, each battle plays out in a turn based fashion with various skills and abilities being afforded to the player. However, a neat mechanic is included known as timed hits, which allows the player to press the A button whilst attacking, resulting in a second hit and subsequently more damage. As you would expect, you'll come across various types of armor and weapons throughout the journey that all contribute to your proficiency in each battle, and with two other characters in your party at any one time, there is always plenty of options open to the player when taking on enemies. Super Mario RPG is quite simply one of the finest RPGs ever produced, and deserves a spot in every SNES owner's collection. Secret of Mana is a sequel to a game known as Final Fantasy Adventure. It sees the player following several heroes on an adventure to counteract an impending evil known as the Empire. The main aspect many will notice is how battles play out differently when compared to the many RPGs released at the same time. Instead of taking on a turn-based formula, it instead presents a real-time system that sees encounters playing out during gameplay. As the player, you have the choice to control each of the characters at will, and for those lucky enough to own a multi-tap, two friends can jump in on the action as well. Each of the heroes possess their own unique abilities and attributes, such as the use of magic or a higher proficiency with weapons. A robust leveling up system is also in place that allows the freedom to build the characters to your liking. As you would expect with most RPGs, Secret of Mana is a huge game. It manages to provide hours of gameplay in order to see the narrative reach its conclusion, so if you've yet to give this one a go, Secret of Mana has everything you are looking for. Earthbound is a rather quirky RPG. Instead of the journey taking place in a fantasy world, it instead subverts this trope and many other common elements of the genre by not only taking place in the real world, but also by poking fun at the many other RPGs available at the time. The story sees players following a young boy known as Ness. After he investigates a meteorite crash with his friends, they discover an alien race known as the Geigers, who are hell-bent on consuming the world and its inhabitants by turning them into malicious monsters. Gameplay sees you exploring the world and encountering enemies in order to level up and increase the effectiveness of your party. Battles are presented in a turn-based fashion and revolve around a multitude of actions in which the player can deal out, from attacking to healing and even special abilities known as PSI attacks, which can really help out in tight situations. I cannot highly recommend this one enough. Upon playing it, you'll soon realize why it is considered one of the Super Nintendo's most enjoyable adventures. Final Fantasy VI has to be one of the finest entries in a series that has spanned decades. As with most of them, it manages to convey an incredible tale that revolves around several lovable characters. As you would expect, the battling system is top notch. Each character possesses their own unique special skills that help deal with the various situations you'll find yourself in, as well as basic attacks and magical abilities, which help keep battles moving along at a brisk pace. The star of the show has to be the summon feature, which are known as espers in this version of the game. There are a huge amount available and they soon all become essential to progressing through the adventure, especially during many of the battles towards the end of the game. If this one passed you by, you would be letting yourself down by not playing it. Many regard this as the best entry in the series and it's easy to see why, so if you're looking for an unforgettable journey on the SNES, Final Fantasy VI is the one for you.
Chrono Trigger follows a band of heroes on a time-bending adventure set across an incredibly detailed and intoxicating world. The narrative picks up after an experiment involving teleportation goes catastrophically wrong and propels the journey forward. One of the standout aspects of Chrono Trigger is its story, so I won't say much more, other than it is a completely unforgettable experience. Now considering the limitations of the hardware, the world presented in the game is absolutely huge and is home to a diverse set of enemies and NPCs that help flesh out the believability of each environment the heroes encounter. Aiding you on your quest is a wide array of weaponry and items that all bring their own distinct advantages to battles. This facilitates a huge amount of playstyles and allows the player to experiment. Battles utilize an active time system, which revolves around a timer set on each character. It needs to run down before the player is able to attack or use an ability. It adds a nice level of urgency to each encounter, with enemies dropping experience points once defeated, which all contribute to a well thought out leveling up system that dictates the growth of each character, allowing players to tailor each to their liking. Chrono Trigger is now available on a huge range of systems, making it easier than ever to jump.